supplemental instruction series of videos for Chemistry 121. And today we'll be talking about percent concentration. Now, percent concentration can be measured in three different ways. There's mass percent, which is essentially the mass of the particular solute over the mass of the entire solution. There's volume percent, volume of solute over volume of solution. Then there's mass volume percent, which is the mass of the solute over the volume of the solvent. Now, first we'll discuss the mass percent. To find that, you want to take your, the mass of your solute divided by the total mass of the solution. That includes the solute and the solvent. This is very important to remember. Then, of course, times 100 to get the percent. An example of this would say we had 5 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in 45 grams of water. And we want to find a mass percent of that solution. Well, the NaCl, the sodium chloride, that's what's being dissolved. That is our solute. And so that's going to go on top, 5 grams sodium chloride. And then the total mass of the solution is going to be the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent, which is 5 grams NaCl and adding the 45 grams of H2O. Of course, 5 and 45 make 50. So that's 5 grams NaCl over five, 50 grams total. Now, we're not too worried about this part when it comes to can well, canceling. So that's times 100%. So doing the calculations, we get a final percentage of 10% mass by mass of NaCl. So that's essentially how you work a mass percent problem. Similar to that is the volume percent problem, except it works with volume. Now, in this case, you take the volume of your solute, because it's most likely a liquid, and then you divide by the total volume of your solution. So in this case, we're going to say, and times 100%, so we're going to say we put 4 milliliters of ethanol in 96 milliliters of water. So, we'd approach it in a similar way we'd approach the mass percent. We take the volume of our solute, the ethanol in this case, and in case you're wondering which is the solute, which is the solvent in this case, it's typically the smaller volume that's going to be your solute and the bigger volume that's going to be your solvent. So, we take the four milliliters ethanol. I'll just abbreviate ET from here out. Then we want to divide by the total volume of the ethanol and the water. So 4 milliliters ethanol plus 96 milliliters of water. So you have 4 all over 100 milliliters total times 100 percent and the final answer for that of course is just four percent volume by volume of ethanol now when you're reporting your answers for these percent concentrations it's very important to indicate whether it's mass by mass or mass or volume by volume, or mass by volume, or what have you. So, that brings us to our final kind, that's the mass volume percent, which is percent mass by volume. Now, this one's slightly easier because it, you don't have to add anything up in the bottom. That's going to be the mass of your solute divided by the volume of your solvent. And the reason we can get away with it is because more often than not, when you add the 
solute to the solvent, it doesn't really change the volume all that much, so the volume is assumed to be the same. So let's say we have oh, 60, yeah, 60 grams of potassium fluoride dissolved in 200 milliliters of water. Okay, so we're going to take our mass, this is our 60 grams of potassium fluoride, the mass of our solute, so 60 grams Kf, then divide it by the volume, that's an important thing to remember, the volume of the solvent, 200 milliliters of water, times 100% as usual, then doing those calculations, we get a final answer of 30% mass by volume of potassium fluoride. Again, you want to remember the mass by volume portion of your answer when you report your units. So, that is essentially all there is to percent concentration. Hopefully this helped you a little bit on how to do the problems. Now you'll excuse me. I have some percent concentrations to figure out. See you later.